So whenever we talked about 10 hugely, hugely anticipated albums for the second half of 2015, Niles' What Should Not Be Unearthed was on that list for good reason, because of uh, the At The Gates of Sethu album that preceded it having kind of a strange sound to it that sort of denigrated the overall value, at least in the eyes of some. So now we have our first taste of uh, What Should Not Be Unearthed with Call to Destruction, with an accompanying video, which is in the description box below, that actually comes with its own disclaimer. Let's read it. This music video contains common everyday newsreel imagery illustrating the insanity and futility of war as a tragic result of the clash of ideologies. This video's sole purpose is to bring attention in, uh, to the wanton destruction of artifacts in the Middle East. Neither Nile nor Nuclear Blast endorse any political or religious agenda with this video. Nile, as students of Egyptian history, are concerned about the preservation of the cultures of all peoples of our greater global community. Wow, those are some pretty powerful words for a music video. But actually, whenever that disclaimer goes off, you're right into wanton destruction. This is a song that immediately begins right with the aggressiveness out of the gate. Right from the get-go, this is not something where they screw around with any sort of, of flowery-sounding introduction or anything like that. This is something that's blistering right out of the gates, and it does not take its foot off of the accelerator for the rest of the six minutes of this track's duration. Remember when uh, Those Who the Gods Detest came out and Kaffir, the very first track, for the first time that you ever launched into that on your playback device? Remember how that just set that whole entire album up to just be an absolute beast, a monster of a disc? Call to Destruction. Call to Destruction, 100%. It is something that is so relatable, it's almost silly. Because Call to Destruction not only has the imagery that goes along with it that is very well documented and shown within this video, but musically speaking, audio-wise, audio what a hulk. The fact that it doesn't let up on the accelerator whatsoever is one thing. It's easy to blister through an entire track, but not really feel like you've gone anywhere. This is a track that feels like it goes many, many places. Uh, the difference in the variety in the vocalization alone from uh, more of a controlled scream or, 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 or a rage-filled growl going all the way down to a very, very low, almost, uh, almost Satan-sounding, uh, low-pitched growl slash hum is just absolutely ridiculous. It's something that makes this song all the more powerful considering uh, the lyricism that you're going to see on the screen, which is incredibly complex. Trust me, it beats the pants off a five-finger death punch song. Uh, really is being uttered in these rhythmic fashions and done so in a way where it sounds, it, it sounds just visceral. It has destruction painted all over it. This is a an audio that has uh, just a great, great sim, uh, you know, synergy with the video. This is a track that definitely will make a lot of people sort of forget about uh, what happened with the last disc. Those who are insanely critical about it, I should say. For those that really liked it, I think they'll enjoy this song even more just simply because it is a blistering, blistering son of a bitch. It's a hulking mammoth. It's insane. I think that now that Lamb of God's album has dropped as of two days ago, or, well, whatever, which you can see the video for, I think now we have a new hulking mammoth to really look forward to. And that's this one. That's this Nile album. That's what should not be unearthed. Because, damn, I want to hear where this song is placed on this album, and I want to hear exactly how it causes it to flow. Because I have a good feeling that it's going to cause it to flow exceptionally well, and this is going to be a destructive, destructive disc that has the potential to really assail the ranks of Album of the Year 2015. Still a lot to be said, still a lot to be heard, but it definitely sounds like their writing mode has that potential. But I want to know what you guys think about this track. I want you to tell me what you think about Call to Destruction by Nile. Let me know in the comments below. As I said before, the song itself is in the description box. If you haven't heard this yet, go hear it. It is definitely worth your time. So let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys again here in a little bit. See ya.